a day, a year, uh, but eventually it will subside. If I quit, however, it'll last forever. And man, and I would just pace back and forth. You know, they're saying that quote, pain is temporary. It can last for a month, a year, a day, but eventually it will subside. If I quit, however, it'll last forever. And man, you know, and, and that just gave me that it, <clears throat> it just gave me more to just keep going, you know, and uh and 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 like I say the company that I'm with, the guy called me, um on the phone, man, you really shouldn't do this on the phone, but dude, I didn't have no gas at this time. I was in still in Stafford, Texas. I, I needed to go to like uh, the center of Houston, Texas. So it probably went no more than about 20 miles away, but I didn't have much gas at all. So even on the phone, when this guy called me, uh, I was like, sir, I don't have any any experience, you, you know, because uh, like I said, I was doing so many interviews, I would hear the same thing over and over again, you know, like, we need three, three to five years of experience or something like that, you know? So now I'm almost at, telling them this straight up front over the phone. So I don't have any experience. Uh, I even told them, man, you know, I got a little trouble uh, 10 years ago and it's still on my record, you know, to this day. Right. And he told me, he was like, uh, what, what just come down? You know, we'll talk about it, see what we can do. And it was something in his voice that, it, uh, that, that I felt this might be legit. This might be my opportunity right here. And I went to the interview, man, and, and, and I just looked you know, straight in his eyes. I had I had my same interview clothes on that I would interview with everybody else, man. I had right. his little uh, college right. shirt on. Yeah, I had, I, yeah, right. I had my slacks on. And, and uh, but I was looking right in their eye, man, and, and, and be like, hey, you won't regret it if you hire me, you know? Cause I'll tell you, that's another quote that, uh, from ET that stick with me and I do this on a daily basis, man. Hey, you might be smarter, you might come from privilege, but you would not outwork me. Period. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I tell you, hey, if you give me an opportunity, you won't regret it. And 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 that's one of my mottoes, man, that I live by. But uh he gave me an opportunity and uh he don't regret it. You know, he wow. say, hey, he call me he called me Walter, he say uh, just say we had eight te technicians. He said if he had eight Walters, we'll be all right. You know what I mean? <laughs> and, uh, yes, sir. That's why I say I, I'm, I'm out. I work until the day. He got my word, man. But you know, I mean that that's that, man. Um, wow. I say that that helped me out a lot, though. Yeah, wow. I ain't give up, man. I ain't give up. I I tell anybody out there, do not give up. <laughs> just just so keep going. And, 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 and it's a long journey, but but think about it like this. <clears throat> The universe, man, some some type of way, man. If you just, you know, keep faith and and just keep do, keep doing things on it, you know, every day, doors gonna open open up for you, man. Doors you ain't you, you ain't know you, you don't know who gonna help you out or what door gonna open. So when I got this now, when I got the opportunity in that job, it's June. I didn't get into I didn't get into a uh, apartment until August. Okay. Oh yeah, so, you had to get paid and and, and right, right, right. Get things man, my, dude, dude, my license was suspended from Mississippi. I'm I'm, I'm in Texas with with a suspended license. Um, um, wow. Uh, so so three weeks later, the guy that hired me called me into the office because you know when you're an H back, they give you a van, right? And you go to different different jobs and stuff right there. So he called me into the office and he was like, uh. You know, sit down for a minute. He was like, uh, uh, you know, we ran the thing. Your license is suspended. And, man, I'm like, man, I can't win for losing. I'm just knowing he should have fired me. He was like, no, don't worry. Don't worry about it. You just get it taken care of. But for right now, you're going to ride with somebody. You know, every day you just come. And, and, and then we'll have somebody pick you up. And then you just go ride with them. And that was a blessing, too. Cause, you know, wow. cause now I get to learn and, and pick Pick the you got here. That was a blessing in the skies. But yeah, man. So 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 then uh <clears throat> and and I started off. I started off most ace back uh technicians maybe start off 10, 12, 15 dollars. Man, I started off at uh uh I think seven seventy five or eight eight dollars. He started me off at eight dollars. Wow. To, to get my license back, man, hey, that's I think in one of my videos I, I told him, man, uh 
You either work for low pay or no pay. I would have, I, I would have took that job. You didn't have to give me nothing. The situation I was in, he didn't know the situation ways that I, he didn't know right. that I was standing in my truck. He, you know, I, I didn't, I didn't tell him that I'm, you know, the, uh, the situation I was in at the time. But okay, I'm getting that, so I got to get my license uh, together. So. I'm thinking I'm gonna get you know get an apartment or whatever, uh, but I got to get all this. So maybe ninety percent of what I was making, man, trying to get them license back. You know what I mean? And and I, I don't know how to add it up, but I know it almost probably took me a month, a month and a half just to uh, make enough money to uh, to get my license back. So so not only do I got to pay Mississippi thirteen hundred dollars to get my uh, license back, now I have to. I'm talking about I have to pay, um, you know, Texas to get a license. You know, little things like that. Oh, right, so right, gonna, right. I'm, I'm, but I'm doing all this in my truck, you know. So <clears throat> I think we start like 7, 7 a.m. Man, they just don't know. Dude, I was going, I was staying in, um, I was staying in like a parking garage at the time that, that wasn't far away from, from that job. Right. You know, because I had I had to be at the office. So it was a park parking garage at it called a twin uh I think it Fountain View uh uh Funder and the twin something. But I was in that parking garage, man, for like three three months after work. And they all tip. And they didn't know though. Well, I just get to work two hours early. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. They coming in there. Oh, I say I'm for that work. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Right. I'm gonna right. yeah, take it. this. I'm about to yeah. take this. All right. So you know, I'm, bro. So not only I'm coming in at five o'clock in the morning, the, the guy that had me, his work ethic is, is 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 sick, man. I never seen nobody work hard than that guy. He at the office at four thirty, last one to leave. You know what I mean? So, wow. and he's like a mentor to me too, man. I'm talking about, but as far as work ethic go. No, too many people compare, man. He been doing this for years and years and years and years, and I miss, you know, I follow that path too. To this day, I'm still, I'm, I'm still at the job site an hour early, man. So, but keep in mind though, and all this stuff helping me out too, man. I'm, I'm five. I, uh, just imagine, I'm, I'm uh, arriving a two hour before you. You probably just getting up out the bed. You know what I mean? I'm hyped up now around this time, so it's seven o'clock in the morning. And <laughs> you, like, you like, yeah, I don't I'm, know. I'm I, ready. I don't know, too, I don't know too much about the trade, but like I say, I got an old, older guy. Hey, I'm picking his brain. Look, man, and I'm kind of sharp too, as far as I'm, I'm good with my hands on mechanical construction and stuff like this. So I'm knowing he's looking at a Phillip head, uh, a screw up there. By the time he can reach and get, uh, give me a film head, man, it's already right here. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I got you. I'm focused, though. I'm focused. I, I ain't on my phone. I ain't listening. No, I'm focused. I, I, what's going on? I, I want to know his next move like a chess player. You know what I mean? Bro, and I would, I, I would, like I say, when I got that opportunity, man, I took advantage of it. You know what I mean? Uh, so, yeah, man. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. What? What, was the next, what was the next course, though? Because I, I can... <laughs> I, I can ramble on and on about it. Yeah. <laughs> I know you're pumped on yeah. that. I see that. Yeah. Now, what what would you tell um, maybe someone else that that's mm -hmm. in a similar situation like you were in? You know, I mean, now mm -hmm. things are great, right? And you can look back and say, "Man, it was it was tough," and one or two yeah. things could have went wrong yeah. and messed up everything mm -hmm. for you, right? I mean, it could have just hit you, hit, punch you hard, man. Oh, um, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Not, what do you I, say I, to I, those people I, that's out there? Go ahead. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get. I, I'm, <clears throat> I'm saying like I'm gonna get there because what I was saying was this part of the universe go. You never know, and and, and this this going to tie into what you asked me to. This far as what I would tell uh, somebody else. It's it's, it's called building habits day by day. Uh, just do good. Do what's right. Cause you never know, man. Just keep building on that. Just do what's right. So, uh, while I was there, okay. Now I got my license straight. A couple months later, I end up getting a, in an apartment, okay. And I'm still first one, last one to leave. First one, last one to leave. Still, I'm still, uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Still to this day. That's seven years ago. 
Wow. So, so it, it don't stop, but okay. I'm still first one. Yeah, I'm what, okay. Yeah, I got a part to enough. Now I'm, I'm rolling, man. Come up, my, my, my goal is still, we're gonna get to the contractor part and all this, you know what I mean? But this, this just starting off, but keep going, keep doing the right thing. Um, it's simple, life is simple. We, we make it more complex when I say do the right thing, do what's right and, and let. Divine probably some someone said that I forgot the quote. You you keep continue to do what's right and let um let the higher power deal with the rest. You you do what you think is right. Whatever goes on after that, it is what it is. But what I was saying, okay, now I got in my apartment two years later. Okay, I mean they come for three years now. Let's go two years later. So I told him, I'm like, man, uh, I'm going to start off like this. We have this program it's called Legal Shield. I'm sure a lot of people heard of that. Yep. Where you can get yep. lawyers and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I'm on there. Okay. okay, I was paying $4 a week. And so I'm told him, I'm like, let me call a lawyer and, and uh, you know, ask about my, it's my uh, felony expungible. So... I called her, she was like, uh, no, Miss Watson looking like uh, something about the cake. She was like, I'm on the phone with her. She would tell me, no, it's something about something. Before I got, before I got the phone, she said, hold on, hold on, I see something right here. And she looked in the, her law book or whatever, the codes or whatever. She said, matter of fact, yeah, yeah, this is expungible. That's why I'm telling you, you, you don't know what door is gonna open up in the road, man. That's why I say I deal with I, I had the mind state that I was going to have my fellow on, on, on there for the rest of my life. That's why I told you, like, 18, 19, 20. It, it, it doesn't act like we're just going to keep on going forever, man. You know what I mean? You don't know what can happen, though. Like I say, first one, last one, leave every day, but be happy and joyful while you're doing this. Stay motivated. You're going to have your down days. You're going to have your bad days. But, dude, I never thought that I would be able to get that off my my record, man. Wow. And to this day, that's why I say, and then that just opened so much doors. And, and that's almost what tie into uh, the contractors and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Because I think even in the state of Texas, if you got a felony, you can't even apply for a contract license. If you apply for it, you got to get denied. Right. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, you can be a technician. Oh, wow. But it, it, opened, it opened up it, more opportunities for man, man, it. But all this started back when that man told me I need a skill. You right. know what I mean? Right, uh, right. One thing, cause it, cause maybe if I was at the grocery store, man, I couldn't even afford. And then that's another thing, save my money while I worked. I probably couldn't even afford to get there. It, it was costly. I had to pay this lawyer, you know, to do this work for me. Right. You know what I mean? And not only that, just having the conscience enough to, uh, okay, get the legal shield. What if? You know, right. I, I, right. I, didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't get it for that. Right. You know, just doing so, what you feel was right. Just doing what you feel was right. Yeah. yeah so just do what's right. Mm -hmm. So 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 you got all this. Now you you know you you actually you know seeing yourself. You're getting up, man. You you you're climbing, man. Everything is getting better. What make what made Walter want to say, hey, you know what? I want my contractor's license. That goes back. What that man tell me? You need to get you a skill. Okay, and I'm, and I'm I'm instead of telling you 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, I don't want to feel like that. I don't want to depend on nobody no more. I don't want, I don't want, I don't, I don't, I don't want somebody to say, okay, we don't, we don't want to hire you or we're not going to give you this opportunity. I want to put my life in my own hand. So if this company that I'm with right now, if they want to close their door tomorrow, I can go provide for my family. I'm, I, I would never be held to those uh, uh, restraints again. Never. Never going back. Never. 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 So, okay, I, cre I can create my own opportunity legally now. That's why I got my contract license. The first opportunity that I got to get my contract license, I went and got my contract license. I'd never be That'll never happen to me again, man. Wow. My, my, 
my whole twenties, my late teens were like that. You know what I mean? That, that'll never happen again. That's why I got my contract life. You know what I'm saying? So if I can get somebody a job, you know what I mean? Right. So if somebody in that situation, maybe I can pay them back. But that, that's why I got my contract life, man. Wow. Okay. Period. It, that, it's that simple. It's that simple with me. You know? Right. Right. Yeah. Now, um, let me ask you this. What do you see for, for Walter and his family in, in, you know, in the near future? What do you see in the next year, two years? Where do you see yourself at? Man, uh, it's me and my wife, and she, she have the same work ethic that I, that I have. Uh, um, we have goals, um, but, but we try to, like, like I told you, do right every day. We have habits that we follow, and our goal. She's uh, she's getting a master's degree. She's going to graduate from Texas A and M with a master's in December. Um, um, I mean, man, we scribing, man, we scribing. That's why I say, as far as the universe go, if we if we continue to do right uh, and continue to want more, we don't know what God got in store for us. You know, um, so we see ourselves um, in a great space. You know, we 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 gonna continue to do what's right uh, that we think was right. Yeah, we and 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 there's no ceiling, like Lil Wayne say, no ceiling. Right. right. <laughs> yeah. That's good, man. Um, yeah. So, um, uh, being at this, uh, this job that you got, they, they didn't done, you know, a lot for you, gave you a shot, you know, mm -hmm. things like this. Uh, what would you say to the person that's out there mm -hmm. that don't feel like they've been given a shot, but they're working, they're at a company, uh, they're, they're, uh, they have a trade, right? But things are just not right. The environment. It's not, it's not mm -hmm. positive. It's negative. You know, what would you mm -hmm. tell that person? And they're in the age back industry as well. Um, first, I probably would tell them, uh, look at themselves in the mirror first. Uh, mm. Make sure, make sure that you are doing what's right first. Um, If you if you gave it your all, one hundred percent, and it's not getting better, it's not going to get better. You got to go somewhere else. <laughs> you got to get out of that toxic environment. But you got to look at you first and make sure you're giving that hundred and ten. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Wow, man, that's that's powerful, man. Yeah. That's powerful, man. What? Uh, let me ask you one more question here. Then I'm gonna, you know, sort of wrap this thing up. What mm -hmm. is success to Walter? Uh, man, <clears throat> I'm gonna say another quote. I'm big on Earl Nightingale. Earl Nightingale states it like this: "Success is a progressive real realization of a worthy idea." And that means success to me is, is if I'm constantly working on something, I'm successful. If I have a goal and I'm working on a goal every day, I'm successful. Successful uh, to me is it's, that's an action word. Mm. So long as I'm working on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm successful. If I got a goal in mind that I'm working towards, I'm successful. You know, because once I get there, I'm gonna have another go. So right. count uh, the little things, huh? You're saying count it. Right. Everything. As long as you're working and you and you're moving yeah. forward, right. count it. That's right. Awesome, man. Yeah, that's why I say if you want to be if you're an H, you're an HVAC technician, you are successful. If you're in construction, you are successful. Um, you're a stay at home mom, and that's what you wanted to do, you are successful. You know, right. uh, yeah. So whatever. <clears throat> now, if you're doing something, um, Let's talk about, let's say failure. I don't believe in failure, period. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know how you fail if, if you quit. That's like that statement where I said well, uh, every time. So if you don't quit, 
you're not a failure. If you're going after some, you're successful. It's simple as that. Wow. All right. I'm going to wrap it up with that, but I want you to uh, let everybody know, you know, where your channel's at and, uh, and, and some of the things that they can uh, gain from you, from your channel, especially uh, your HVAC viewers out there. Yeah. Um, my channel is, is WWHVAC. Um, it used to be a, a Lifestyle Unlimited. I changed it to WWHVAC because I wanted to... Um, trying to channel my, uh, focus my, uh, uh, my channel around uh, HVAC. Um, I, I pretty much do day-to-day uh, -day videos or how it is in the, in, in the field. I do hands-on uh, troubleshooting in the field. Um, I, I, I try to talk to people just as far as making videos on, 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 on if you're in a certain space that you want to get out of that space, as far as motivation, uh, personal development, uh, that, that's pretty much, my, pretty much what my channel uh, consists of. Uh, so if you find this video, please like, or uh, uh, please like to your channel, this video right here, can <laughs> post on yours. But if you send me this link, I'll put it on mine because I don't think I was recording it. Oh yeah, but, uh, I'll send it to you. Yeah, yeah, you can send it to me. Uh, subscribe to my channel, man. Uh, I appreciate it because you in California, right? And you from New Orleans, right? Yeah, yeah, seven to nine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I got a, I got a question for you then. Okay. What's up? Tomorrow, the L.A. Rams versus the New Orleans Saints. Uh -huh. Who you ride with? Oh, no one. I I don't even watch sports at all. Oh, for real? I don't even watch the Saints going to the playoff, man. Like, wow. <laughs> you see that? That's what I get a lot every time, yeah. especially my mom, you know, because everybody mm -hmm. back home, they're die hard Saints fans. I mean, I'm talking who about that? like, who that? Who that? Yeah. Yeah. It's die hard Saints fans. Yeah. So you're going crazy right now on mm -hmm. Facebook and messages yeah. and, you know, yeah, family man. messages. They're going yeah. crazy. But, I don't mm -hmm. even know. I couldn't tell you. Look how look how ignorant I am to this. I couldn't yeah. tell you a football player from a tennis player, man. Wow. Okay. So, I, 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 so do yeah. you watch TV at all? No, I don't. I don't watch. Wow. TV. Well, I watch a few shows. Like I watch some show. Like I watch a show right now. I watch all the time. Is uh, Men Who Built America, and I mainly mm -hmm. watch that on YouTube. So the only thing I really watch is okay. YouTube. You know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> That's like, yeah, that's like me. I don't watch right. too much TV. Off. They got a saying, you turn the TV on, you turn yourself off. Right, 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 right. Yeah. So, um, any more questions there? No, nah, man, I'm good. Uh, I'm good. Um, Cause I'm, I'm going to post, I'm trying, if you send it to me, I'm going to post this on my, uh, on oh, my channel yeah. also. You know, I'm going to send so, it to you, big dog. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so tell my viewers, uh you know, um, what's your channel name and, and how they can find you and, and a little bit about what you do. So I'm Tyrone Jones. Uh, uh, I'm a contractor here in Southern California. I have a, a few partnerships and I also own a school uh, by the name of Construction Entrepreneur School and Services. Uh, and at that school, we help individuals attain their contractor's license here in California. And then we also teach them uh, about business. So you get your contractor's license and you learn how to run and start your business because it makes no sense to get a contractor's license and not know how to do those things. So we apply those methods to uh, our students and then we also teach estimating courses and uh, and really courses on how to teach or on how to learn your numbers. So and that's what we present on YouTube and Instagram on uh, on all our channels, just giving contractors information about how to learn your numbers, estimating uh, uh, contractor laws that applies to all of us, and uh, and make sure you subscribe, like, and share because this this is a good brother right here. Came a long way. He still got a long journey, and before you know it, we'll be looking again in five years, seeing where he at, and I guarantee you, he'll still be on top. You know, so. Yeah, appreciate it. Yeah, I'm gonna let you go with that, man. Yeah, yeah All right. I appreciate it, man. Yep, yep. All right, 10-4. Yeah, yeah. Catch you on the next one, big dog. Yes, sir.